Hey everyone, it's Marianne, and this week we are talking about tea specifics with our partners. Uh, Aiden actually just celebrated his one year on tea, I think last week. Uh, I was actually last Thursday, and I probably should have filmed it because we're talking about tea this week, but just didn't think that far in advance. Plus, I think I was working like a bajillion hours, so I didn't do it. Anyways, um, Aiden has been one year on tea. He is on Depo testosterone. Uh, he's on bi-weekly injections, so every two weeks I give him his shot. In probably the first two months, I didn't give him his shots just because I was terrified of the needle and it's really big and really scary. <laughs> um, but about after two months, I think I finally, I guess, worked up the courage to do it. Uh, we, at the time, we were going to the walking clinic to get his shots. Um, they're free for us in BC, Canada, so that was a bonus. Because <laughs> if it wasn't, I would have learned a lot sooner. Um, but yeah, so like, and when I was learning, the nurses at the outreach clinic were teaching me how to do it. Uh, at first, they were doing it in his glute muscle, his ass pretty much. Um, but I found that really stressful just because I know the sciatic nerve is there and if I were to hit it, it would be really painful and it was just stressful learning that one. Um, and then one day we were there again and the nurse did it in his ventral gluteal, ventral gluteal site, which is pretty much like his side. And she's like, you know, it's way less risk of hitting the sciatic nerve. It's safer. It's less painful. And I was way more comfortable with learning how to inject on that site than just the gluteal itself. So I inject Aiden um, in his ventral, ventral gluteal. That's a hard word to say. Um, basically, okay, I put shorts on, so I'm not flashing all of you, but this is pretty much what happens. Um, so don't mind the insulin pump. But I just imagine my hand going the other way because obviously I not a contortionist and can't twist my hand around but my thumb pretty much kind of goes where the the hip bone is and then I just kind of spread my hand out and then I inject um, between my middle and index finger so usually in this area but again just imagine that the hand is reversed the other way so yeah it's ventral site it's pretty much where my insulin pump is so it's this area in here that I inject Eden um, yeah, so what, um, most important is to use an alcohol swabby swipe thing and disinfect the top of the bottle and the skin where you are injecting, but just make sure that it's dry before you use the needle. Um, I, we have a sharp container. This is where we put all the old old used needles and I actually fished some out just so I could show you guys how big these needles actually are. So which one's this? Okay, well obviously they come in little packages like this. So this one is the 18 gauge. So I use this one to um, draw, up, draw up the testosterone just because um, the hole in the needle is bigger and because obviously testosterone is really thick it takes a long time to come up so we use this one here to inject the syringe which is this right here see how scary that is oh yeah <laughs> so yeah you can see how big that hole is so this one is the 18 18 gauge something like that so we use that to draw up the testosterone into the syringe and then we switch over to the 22 and a half gauge and this is what I stab Aiden with. So that's what that and then so this is the whole I just put an old one this is all old stuff and this is what gets injected into Aiden. So you can see that how that hole is slightly smaller. There's stuff on it there there you can see how tiny that hole is so obviously you don't want to you know just because that's gonna hurt and the testosterone isn't going to absorb as easily if you just plunge it all at once so it's really important to go nice and slow and take your time injecting it and the muscles um, 
have time to absorb it. Also a really good idea to um, heat up the area first. We have, I call them magic beans. I don't know what they are. It's that magic sack bean thing, whatever it is. And um, heat that up first and just let it sit um, on whatever side that we're injecting for about like half hour, just really warm up the muscles. And then after I inject him, um, warm up the bag again and just put it on. Just with muscles are warmer, they absorb a lot more easier and it's just less painful in the long run. Um, yeah, that's kind of all. Um, I'll put a little video montage of Aiden's transition thus far. Um, yeah, I think that's all pretty much T spe specifics. Bi-weekly injections. Um, he started on a really low dose just to kind of get used to everything and stuff like that. Um, now it's a pretty, pretty decent dose. I don't know if he wants me to share what he's taking, so I'm not going to say how much he's on just because he's not here and I can't ask him. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's all I have to show you for T specifics. Um, in the next couple of weeks, we are going to be talking about how to start T and what state you're on, what state you're in, based on the the vloggers, the different girls on the different days. Obviously, I'll be reporting from Canada. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned for those videos so you'll you can know how to start this whole fun process. And I believe that is all I have to say. So thank you for watching and I will see you all next week.